Rocket Lab has announced that they want their Neutron rocket to be ready by 2024. But is that even possible? We are going to look at their plans of development and see, are they on track to be done by 2024? And if not, what is going to happen with Rocket Lab? This is a bit nerve wracking. Rocket Lab to have Neutron ready by next year? Let's get a little serious, shall we? Let's take a look at Rocket Lab's plans of development and if it's any way possible, they can get Neutron ready by 2024. I don't know, it is going to be interesting. So stay tuned as we go over if Neutron is gonna be ready by 2024 or not. has a target date of 2024 for its Falcon 9 competitor rocket called Neutron. And with all feasibility, is this rocket going to be ready next year? They don't even have a prototype built yet. No way they do not. So I don't know. We have to sit back and be realistic. Is this just high hopes or is there really going to be a rocket that's medium lift and competitive with SpaceX's Falcon 9 next year. Now, Rocket Lab has released their plans of development along with the timeline of when things are going to get done. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. They do have their plans for 2023, which is this year, and let's see what they've accomplished so far as well as what they still need to get done this year. Okay, and here we have the path to liftoff for the Neutron rocket. So this is 2023. Here is our timeline that Rocket Lab has outlined. Uh, they have completed right here the first full-scale carbon composite tank built using advanced manufacturing methods. Now the next step is the structural and cryogenic testing, which they have been currently doing. So they are in progress. It might even be finished by now uh, of doing the structural and cryogenic testing. So um, we are basically on step two out of, you know, many steps for 2023 for the neutron development. We still have to do the flight mechanisms test program, the Archimedes engine build, as well as the hardware in loop flight to orbit, and the first Archimedes engine hot fire test. So, wow, we, uh, we have a way to go, guys. I mean, look at this. We got this done. We're just now getting this one done. And we still have to do all these other pieces of the puzzle here. And it's already going to be, you know, oh, we're in October. So they don't have very long to get all these steps that we see here accomplished by the end of 23. I don't know if they can do it. If they can, Rocket Lab is, is just going to be on fire because to, to get all this accomplished in, in the next few months, that's going to be amazing if they can pull that off. So again, we have a lot we still have to do, hence my concern we've only accomplished the first two steps that i'm aware of please correct me if i'm wrong but so far i believe we've mostly done these first two steps here um we are working on things it looks like towards these steps but they have not yet been completed so like i said we still have a lot to go for this year there isn't much time left as you can see they still have quite a ways to go this year and 2023 is almost wrapping up people we are in the middle of october practically you know it's like october november november december then january and boom that's it then we'll be in 2024 so technically 
we're almost in 2024. We might as well call this 2024, right? <laughs> I mean, not quite. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but it's close. And with that said, looking back at what we've seen, I don't know. I don't know if, if they're going to get this ready by 2024. That, I mean, realistically, I love Rocket Lab. I love the Rocket Lab team, but that is a huge feat to accomplish in like less than a year or one year. That's a lot. That is a lot. And again, let's look at what they need to get done in 2024 and see what happens if they don't get the stuff done in 2023. Are they going to be able to cram it into 2024 and get it done? Or is this going to get pushed out to like 2025? So let, let's take a look at this coming up next year, 2024. What are their steps to get done? Okay, and here we are at the 2024 path, right after they do their Archimedes engine hot fire that hopefully will be done in 2023 if they are on time. Then in 2024, they will begin the stage one build. That's gonna be exciting. The full scale carbon composite stage one tank built using advanced manufacturing methods. So they're gonna be doing the stage one build and then of course they're gonna do the stage two static fire from there, they're gonna do the stage one static fire, and then hopefully launch complex three at uh, the NASA's Wallop Island facility in Virginia will be complete, which will be very nice. And then moving forward, they will have the final integration, the full flight vehicle complete and ready for flight. So neutrons should be ready. And then we have the wet dress rehearsal and then the launch. Oh, wait, I'm not seeing a 2025 on this timeline. Nope, there isn't. So they are fully expecting to have all of this done, all of this done right here and way back here, all the way, all this is going to be done in 2024. And my goodness, just think that's, that's a lot. Now, what if, you know, some of this doesn't get accomplished? They're going to have to cram all that into 2024? I mean, is that even going to be possible? Oh my goodness. Um, wow. Here's the thing. I mean, the building, I get it. I, you know, I see them completing the launch complex on time. I see them building the stage one probably on time. I think the real things that are going to define whether or not we get Neutron in 2024 is going to be, uh, probably <laughs> wet dress rehearsal, the static testing, um, I think those things are, are the main things. I'm not really worried about the build outs so much as far as the testing. Um, I think the testing is really going to determine if, if things are going to be viable and ready for launch. So we need to see how the testing, uh, comes around. Uh, we need to see how the wet dress rehearsal goes, but I do think that they are going to complete the launch complex on time. I think that they're going to complete the, uh, stage one build on time. I just don't know if they're going to get, <laughs> if they're going to get all this stuff done. So we're going to have to see. I think we're going to know more within the next couple months, whether or not they'll be able to pull this off. So definitely stay tuned for more. Well, Peter Beck himself, you know, I, I don't think he, he wants to, you know, he, there might be a chance of a delay, right? So he's kind of hinted at it in some articles. Not to mention, he's not wanting to sign any contracts for Neutron just yet. He doesn't like fake contracts. None of us do. I mean, what, you know, selling something before it's even built, a lot of companies are doing that now. You know, you know, even some of the EV tall companies that I cover, they're doing that. But Rocket Lab, they want to wait and they want to show a product to people, a working product before they go ahead and start signing contracts with people because they have no question about it. The demand is going to be there for Neutron. So they're not one bit worried. I think the question is, are, you know, are they gonna get it done in time? When are they gonna get it done? You know, and until we get closer on to the end of this year, moving into the beginning of next year, we might see a delay. We'll have to watch. We'll have to, you know, stay tuned. So you better hit the subscribe button. Got to follow along to see whether or not Neutron's going to make it because 
I'm gonna be following them closely and I'm gonna see, you know, are, are they hitting their targets? Are they falling behind? How is this gonna affect the stock? How is this gonna affect the company? And, you know, a lot is gonna go into this. Seeing how we look like we might be running a little behind on things, I think Rocket Lab is trying to speed things up in other areas. Hence that recent acquisition of Sale GP facility and its infrastructure, the machines, and the team along with it. Rocket Lab recently announced that acquisition, which I think was a smart move, seeing how Rocket Lab is focused on being vertically integrated. They were getting some of their composite materials for Electron Neutron from Sale GP. So they said to heck with it, let's just buy out that facility, let's buy the staff that are already trained and know how to work these machines and do everything and integrate them into the Rocket Lab family. And I think that that was a brilliant move on Rocket Lab and it's going to help integrate Neutron into the system and move things a lot quicker. So brilliant, brilliant move. I think that was a great acquisition. Now, when I mean acquisition, I don't mean Rocket Lab bought out Sale GP as a whole. Sale GP is basically a sailing company, right? We're more focused on the space industry, although sailing is fun too. Uh, but Rocket Lab, they basically just acquired their, their facility and their old team members and the machinery and all the equipment. So what's going on is Sale GP is actually transitioning, they're growing, and they're moving over into the UK instead. So, I mean, they're not going out of business by any means, and Rocket Lab didn't acquire the whole company, they just acquired the facility and the employees and some of the machinery. So I just wanted to make that very clear. They just didn't go out and buy a sailboat team and, and stuff and say, hey, we're gonna go have fun and we're gonna go sailing and... <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess they could have used it towards Electron's marine recovery, right? You know, recover it with a sailboat, but no, that's not what happened. So anyways, in that move, I think what they were trying to do is just to speed things up by being even more vertically integrated and already having the talent for it as well. Another area where Rocket Lab is speeding things up is the engine development facility. I mean, they recently just had a ribbon cutting very awesome. They're moving forward and they, they are, they're getting ready. They're amping up, right? So that goes to show that they are trying to get everything lined up so that when the chips do fall into place, things can happen rather quickly. They're going to have to move quickly if Neutron is going to be ready by 2024. And when you think about it, I, I can now understand why they call it Rocket Lab USA because Rocket Lab is starting to pop up everywhere in the United States. They're in California, they're in Virginia, they're in Mississippi. Did you know that? Yeah, I mean, Mississippi. So apparently Mississippi is where NASA's Stennis Space Center is. So yeah, Rocket Lab is all over. Rocket Lab, where are you going to next in, in the United States? Go to Florida, the Sunshine State. They have all kinds of stuff. I know it's already crowded. You know, they have a lot of space companies in Florida, but still, I think Rocket Lab should do something in Florida. Who knows? Maybe one day they will. And I gotta say though, I am very excited about Neutron. I think what Rocket Lab is doing is phenomenal. SpaceX is not going to be a monopoly, right? And they're not. There's Rocket Lab. <laughs> so, I mean, that goes to show that you know, it's not just going to be one company that's successful in space. You know, space is is going to have many companies that are going to be successful. And uh, Rocket Lab most likely is going to be one of them. So I, I, I'm super excited about Neutron. I have big plans, actually. My plans are I would love to go uh, and watch the inaugural launch for Neutron at Wallops Island in Virginia. And I don't know if it's gonna be open to the public or not. I don't know, maybe Rocket Lab, if you hear me, you can give me an invite. I can take everybody with me. <laughs> well, not, you know what I mean, like vicariously through the camera. Yeah, I do plan on, if possible, going to that inaugural launch. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on the Neutron development. And uh, you should too as well. And as always, until next time, invest long and prosper.